I've been able to put together an outfit and thought something is missing, that you needed a little special something just to top it off. Well, this video is for you. Alrighty everyone, welcome back, welcome back. Today we of course are talking about jewellery. Let me just start by saying I am a huge fan of jewellery, particularly in the summer. It's such an easy way to add so much authenticity and intentionality to your outfits. So today I'm going to show you a few ideas on how I like to style jewellery with a few different outfits to give you some inspiration if you're just getting into the jewellery world, as well as some general rules I like to follow. I've been wanting to do a dedicated jewellery video for a long time now, as I always get a lot of questions about my pieces, and I'm so excited to say that thanks to all your guys' love and support on my videos, I've actually been able to partner with Lupin to create this video. So all the pieces you'll see today are from Lupin and they are just stunning. And crafted in Seoul, Korea by third generation jewelers. All their pieces they make are made from 925 sterling silver as standard. Simply put, 925 sterling silver is just the best silver compound when it comes to making jewelry, always ensuring quality, brilliance and longevity of life. As always, everything I'm wearing will be linked in the description down below and you'll also find a discount code for Lupin. So if anything catches your eye, whether it be the clothes or the jewelry, go and check it out down there. And if if you enjoy it, make sure to drop this video a like it really does help out the channel also make sure to subscribe for more great men's fashion videos like this one right let's begin Starting with the outfit I always fall back on when I don't know what to wear, it's reliable and will never let you down. Not only that, I think an outfit like this consisting of minimal items really benefits from a few pieces of jewellery. It can seem quite standard, but the tasteful addition of jewellery definitely elevates it. We're starting off here with a classic white oversized tee. This is a new pickup from Destructive from their crop collection, and I've been living in this tee this summer. Paired that with some timeless black pleated trousers from Uniqlo, and I chucked on my Collegium Pillar Court 2s in white for a sporty touch. Finally, I added my black leather crossbody bag from Cos. Jewelry styling here, I went for my everyday pieces, which is one necklace tucked under a tee, two rings, one for each hand, and one bracelet. I find this the perfect balance of jewelry, where it's noticeable enough so it elevates my style without feeling overwhelming or like I'm trying too hard. Next, I want to show you how I like to style jewellery when pairing it with the most casual of outfits, the sweatsuit. I love wearing sweatsuits when I'm working from home or just running errands, but they can very quickly appear unconsidered if you aren't following a few rules. The mindset I like to have when styling an outfit like this is that of an athlete on a day off. You want something to chill and be comfortable in, but that doesn't give you an excuse to be careless with your style. The easiest way to achieve this balance of elevated casual is firstly to make sure your sneakers are clean or as clean as they can be, and to really sell it, I think you need to have at least a couple of pieces of tasteful jewellery to contrast the very casual clothing items. Jewelry styling here, I quite like to lean into the jewelry to really allow it to do its thing, so I went for three rings and layered my necklaces to add some extra dimension. Layering silver jewelry always adds a classy touch, so you will never fail to look put together even in the most casual of outfits. Just quickly, I want to jump in here and talk quickly about styling necklaces. Firstly, I love that they're just very easy to style because you get to decide how visible they are. You can wear them out and bold as a statement, layer them to create some extra dimension in your outfits, or you can tuck them under your torso layer so they just peek out for something more paired back. If you are new to necklaces though, I'd stick to something on the thinner side. Thinner necklaces in general are just a bit more versatile in my opinion, they're not so bold and brash and sort of in your face. This beautiful snake chain is a great example of everything I look for in a timeless beginner necklace. 1.5mm thickness, it's super clean, classy and minimal. A necklace like this can really work with any style. If you're wanting something bold but still very classic, I love a Cuban chain style necklace. This one here is 3.5mm in width, so it's more substantial and more eye-catching. Lengthwise, when it comes to necklaces, you want something that is not too long, so it gets in your way, but not too short, that is choking you. And for me, that is around 18 to 20 inches. Once you find the necklace or necklaces for you, trust me when I say you're going to want to wear them with every outfit. So definitely start with something versatile like these two and you'll be set. Moving on to outfit three, and of course, I can't do a styling video without a great let's go get coffee outfit. And here we have my go-to. Starting off with a cream knit jumper. This beauty here, you've seen it before. This is the Mora jumper from UK brand Finisterre. I absolutely love pairing cream with blue, so I went with my trusty blue denim jeans from weekday. And you really can't get more classic than this. For footwear, I wanted to keep those laid back vibes, not trying too hard, so I went with my beige Birkenstock Bostons. For my jewelry choices here, I wanted to match the chill vibes, so I toned it down with a couple of rings, one for each hand, and a single thin necklace tucked under the jumper. I love how the silver looks against the cooler blue and the warmer cream tones. Just a very reliable outfit for a chill Sunday morning out in the city grabbing coffee with your mates. 
Casual lunch dates are always a favourite of mine and I think they're a great opportunity to express your individual style and because it's lunch you don't feel pressured to dress up too much. Here I've gone for a slim fit white tee, this one is from Uniqlo and as always Uniqlo tees are stellar and always reliable. For legwear I think a pair of washed black jeans are a great choice, a bit more interesting than your typical black jeans due to the washed texture. For footwear you could really go with anything but I absolutely love washed black jeans paired with white socks and loafers. Lastly we need a layering item so I went with my beautiful cream canvas chore jacket from Dinner Service. New York. Similar to your clothing choices when it comes to dates, you really need to consider your jewellery too. Nothing creates a better first impression than dressing with intentionality. And here to show that intention, I paired the jewellery back with only one piece from each category. I think this strikes the balance between appearing put together, but it doesn't look like you're trying too hard to impress. Feel free to do whatever fits your style though, as long as it's authentic to you. So for me personally, rings really were the gateway to my love for silver jewellery. I started very simply with a clean minimal band like this together ring. And so I think band style rings really are the best place to start. They're understated but still very impactful and they'll pair perfectly with your style regardless of whether your day to day is more casual or whether you have to put together something a little bit smarter every day to head into the office. Moving on to the next style of ring, this troublemaker ring is a fusion of a band style ring and a signet. It's a contemporary shape but still classy and timeless. A great standalone piece to draw the eye. Lastly is a bit more of an edgy option, the Cuban chain ring. Definitely a little bit more eye catching and will work perfectly if your style is a bit more on the bolder side. But I still think it's classic enough to wear if your style is more minimal too. Out of all the pieces I'm talking about today, rings are definitely the best place to start when it comes to jewellery. A well-crafted timeless ring will last you a lifetime, so if you like the look of these items, definitely go and check out Lupin. All the links will be down below for you. Also, make sure you take advantage of that discount code, which will also be in the description. Okay, moving from lunch dates to dinner dates, many of the same rules apply here, but because it's nighttime, you definitely have more of an opportunity to dress to impress, and you definitely should, in my opinion. Of course though, it is important to match the formality of the restaurant with your outfit. For my dinner date outfits, I love to blend formal and casual together while still showing some personality. Starting with the same white tee again, just make sure it's 100% stain free, and if you're worried about staining it during dinner, just swap it for a black one. For legwear, I've gone for a pair of navy pleated trousers. These really are the Swiss army knife of legwear. Navy is just so versatile versatile and it looks so clean when paired with white. For shoes, of course, I got for my black loafers and finally I went for my mid-wash blue denim jacket. I find these items are the perfect blend between formal and casual and they work for 99% of restaurants. To elevate this though, I think honestly a few pieces will suffice. So I went with a single ring for each hand, a bracelet and my slim snake necklace tucked behind my tee for a subtle but intentional touch. Not only do these pieces look great, but they're also a great conversation starter when meeting someone new. Outfit 6 and last outfit I'm styling today and say you've been invited to a friend's celebration event. Could be a birthday party, a restaurant meal, a night out or a combination of all three. Most importantly here, again you need to match the vibes of the event, where you're going and what you're going to be doing. Typically here I like to go a little bit elevated to show my style but I never want to look like I'm trying too hard. So I started off with a black linen shirt, paired that with some black pleated trousers and finally my black loafers. I think an event like this where you're surrounded by friends is a great opportunity to have fun and play with layering your jewellery. So with this idea in mind I layered my necklaces, chucked on my bracelet and I went with three rings across both my hands. I really think this is the most I would go for and it's definitely not for everyone but I really love how silver jewellery looks when it's layered on top of an all black outfit. It's super chic and it looks great without demanding all the attention. And here's a quick alternative to styling the jewellery where I toned it back and went with one item from each category, much more subtle but it still allows the jewellery to do its thing, elevating the outfit. Okay, last type of jewellery I want to recommend are bracelets. Less is definitely more when it comes to bracelets and I definitely like to style them in the same vein as necklaces. In the sense that slimmer profiles are a great place to start and you get to choose how visible they are. Short sleeves will of course allow your bracelets to be shown off more and thus draw more attention whereas long sleeves will mostly keep them hidden but of course you can let them poke out slightly or you can roll your sleeves up to highlight them. Lengthwise I think you can go for two options. You can either have it loose so it moves around your arm throughout the day or you can go for something slightly tighter that stays in place. Both are great options. This watch chain bracelet here is my go-to, a great example of timeless style meeting contemporary design, a modern and unique take on a vintage watch style chain. Overall though, very unique but still super stylish and versatile. Quickly if you're struggling though, I just want to mention a general rule that I've always stuck to and it's never steered me wrong, the 2-1-1 rule. 2 one one is where you wear two pieces from one category, one piece from another category, and one piece from the final category, but of course feel free to play around with the items and swap them out depending on your preference. The 2 one one I think is a nice middle ground where you don't feel like you're overdressed wearing tons of jewellery, but there is still enough where it feels very intentional and complements many different types of outfits. Alrighty guys, and those are a few of my 
my favorite ways to style jewelry. I really hope that you guys enjoyed and that this video helped you out. Huge thank you again to Lupin for partnering with me on this video. They were super kind to provide me with that discount code to share with you, which of course you can find in the description down below. So make sure you take advantage of that if any of the pieces caught your eye and you want to place an order for yourself or maybe as a gift. If you enjoyed though, drop a like down below and be sure to subscribe for more great men's fashion videos like this one. If you're after more fashion content from me, check this video out here. Have a wonderful week guys. I will see you in the next one. See you then.